So let's talk about the opening T-shirt. Everybody wants to All be able right. to get the opening T-shirt. Well, Definitely. Uh, for me, it is probably the most important shot. It's the shot I'll be the most deliberate with. Okay. I'm not looking for my longest drive off the first tee. Uh, it's the one where tension will be the killer. So for the first tee, my thoughts off the first tee are to get behind the ball, have a couple of really good deep breaths. <sighs> A lot of times it seems to help me to close my eyes and visualize. just... Visualize? Yeah, do you know what I do visualize? I visualize the tension running right out of my toes. I okay, really I do. Okay, I like that. I want the... I want the... I want the out. tension going right out of my toes, just like water going along the floor. And I want the swing I make off the first tee to be the slowest, most deliberate, least aggressive swing of the day I make. Now, that's just the opposite of most people. But if I go ahead and hit one here, if I do my first tee procedure... Tension out. And I'm going to feel that this swing in my world is in slow motion. Now, when I'm a bit amped up and I'm playing, it won't look slow because I've seen it filmed. Uh, but for me, this is a fairly slow golf swing. And in having it fairly slow, I'm pretty sure I can control it. And obviously, smooth. that would be right down the fairway. So uh, it's like a game of chess to me. You've got to put the first one in play, and then, then you walk off the tee with a good feeling. So just slashing off the first tee, terrible idea. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, and, and I'm not going to let you hit a driver because I don't want to injure your knee, but, but you can right. certainly you can mimic watch. me. Well, you can mimic this. Uh, sometimes it's very advisable to hit a soft draw off the tee. A soft draw for us, we're right-handers, would be a little bit right to left. A yes. soft draw. And so if you want a soft draw, well, you aim a bit right off the tee to start with, but a soft draw means a soft lead arm. Soft lead arm, okay. If the lead arm is soft... No tension there. Very minimal, minimal. Okay. I don't know about no tension because you probably wouldn't be holding the club, but minimal, reducing it to, a, to its least amount. But a soft left arm for us, a soft lead arm, it's more likely to fold through the hitting area. And as the, as the lead arm folds, the soft left arm lead arm through the ball makes it easier to draw it. Let me just pop one of those in there and show you that if the lead arm stays soft through the ball, it is easier to draw it. Get a nice now, soft draw. Uh, finally, I learned that if I'm going to draw it, I should probably aim a bit right because it's not good to draw it from the middle of the fairway into the trees on the left. So to hit a draw, I'm going to aim just a little bit right. I'm going to really be mindful of keeping this lead arm soft, especially through the hitting area, just so there's a good chance of that club just tumbling and turning over just a little bit more. And I'm looking to me, I'm looking to the right, I'm not looking at the target. I want it to come back to the target, but I'm going to have a soft lead arm through the hitting area here. And as the lead arm's a bit soft, it's just beginning to come back. It didn't come back a lot, but it is coming back. And it would be absolutely fine on the right half of the fairway, because I don't want a hook. So soft draw. Now, that leaves me with one last thing off the tee. All right. Uh, one of the great things about being where I am in my life is I get to be around really, really great players. And probably just, just three weeks ago, I got the chance to speak to Tiger Woods, and I asked him what he does in crosswinds off the tee. Okay. Now, we know he's had a bit of trouble with his back, but what he does with crosswinds off the tee. And he said, well, Martin, it depends. It depends. What uh, does it depend on? Well, it depends on where the landing area is. Okay. If you've got, if the rough isn't too deep and, uh, and you've got room, he would say, let it ride the wind. If it's a left to right wind, let it ride the wind. But if it's a tight driving area and the rough is relatively long, then you turn it back into the wind. So that's where it is helpful to know how to draw and fade. But if there's plenty of room, let it ride the wind, said Tiger Woods, and I agree with him.